guys, my name is Shalom. If you are new, I do videos on pop culture, artists, I review music, and sometimes I do a little bit of a deeper topics when I feel like it. And if you guys are returning, you know who I am, you know the drill guys, stick around. But in today's video, I'm talking about the Met Gala because I just loved my last one. I don't know what it is. I just had so much fun filming and editing that video. It's like one of my favorite videos. So keep that theme in the back of your mind when I'm talking about each outfit and each look because I feel like a lot of people forget that you have to stick to the actual theme but a lot of people don't and it's kind of a bit worrying because these designers and these celebrities you can't even stick to a simple brief like if this was the real world like if this was an in education like say for example you're at university and there's an assignment and you don't stick to the assignment or what's being asked of you to do you're gonna fail you're gonna like have to redo that assignment and redo that year so Miss Sydney Sweeney. Okay. Um, I don't know. Oh, okay. All right. She's been set up. I'm sorry, but <laughs> the hair. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't think that black hair suits Sydney Sweeney. She is just a blonde. She's just a blondie. Some blonde people can have dark hair and they can suit and rock a black hairdo, but Sydney Sweeney. For me, I just don't think she suits black hair and especially black hair which has bangs and which is a bob. They should have at least made it probably at least longer. I feel like it would have looked better if it was longer and without the bangs. I feel like that would have ate a bit more. But the bob and the bangs is not doing it for me. And then I feel like maybe she shouldn't have worn the black gloves. But again, I see why they put her in black gloves to match her black hair. But... You know, that's the confidence I want. That's the type of confidence I want. Just to, like, yeah, like, that's that's what I want. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like Sydney Sweeney, you know, Euphoria and all that. It's really annoying because there's always the really pretty ones who just wear the most outrageous, weirdest, or just unflattering colours or stuff. Have you ever noticed that? It's always, like, the really gorgeous people who will wear, like, the weirdest things. Miss Kylie Jenner and... <laughs> I'm sorry but oh okay I'm literally like rubbing my face this is like I'm not even I'm not even angry I'm just I'm just disappointed Kylie because we were all rooting for you okay we were all rooting for you was it 2021 when you turned up as that horrific bride then the year after you turned up like you're going to your best friend's wedding in that red dress and your hair was just pinned up like you're some bridesmaid and then this year she does look really really great i like the the elegance but why are her hips not matching why are her hips not matching honestly these bbls are killing you these bbls are killing y'all honestly if you're gonna okay this goes back to my reconstruction video i did but just for reference if you're gonna reconstruct your face reconstruct your body do it right don't be looking botched don't be coming out here looking like an idiot like kylie jenner she's looking really stupid because she had some hip pads in there that weren't matched because there's no way those are her natural hips it looked too fake i don't know what stuff she put in her hips but that looked flipping awful she looks stupid so if you're gonna get a bbl do it right pay for the best surgeon don't you know pay for a, a ticket to turkey and then wake up and you don't have any kidneys but that's the only thing that really irks me about kylie jenner everything else was per everything else was fine it was perfect it was perfect 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 next we have doja cat and where do i start with this one <sighs> wearing a drenched top to the met gala i feel like there's higher standards i don't really know how that ties in with the theme but as we all know doja cat is weird to be honest and i don't mean that to be in like a, a mean or like malicious way but she generally is weird it sets her apart from the other rap girlies because she's so weird and because she will willingly wear these like really weird outrageous stuff it sets her apart and she doesn't look like the typical rap girly but a lot of the stuff she wears i'm just like <sighs> I, I don't know i don't know i don't know and yeah i'm just gonna keep it there she could have really stepped up her game from last year because last year she came as a cat i was expecting something like mind-blowing visionary because you know people are saying on the streets that Doja Cat is the fashion girly now she's the new fashion girly the it girl the way she dresses does her makeup her hair oh she's the fashion girly the it girl 
but then she comes to the Met Gala in a wet top. So to me, she isn't a fashion girly. She isn't an it girl. To be honest, I need to do a video on that because everyone has a different version of an it girl and a fashion girly. But to me, Doja Cat isn't an it girl for me. I don't, and who wants to be Doja Cat? Not me, okay? Base looks really great. I give her that. Her base is really, really flawless. But then the dripping mascara and smoky eye, I just don't get it. But yeah. Tyler. The dress, I don't like it. I'm not even gonna lie. I feel like, you know, everyone on Twitter is like, oh, it's so gorgeous, it's so stunning, it's it's amazing, it's it's just so pretty, like, it just makes her shine like the little star she is. <laughs> like, guys, get your head out of her bum. Like, like, stop it, guys, stop it. Her makeup is flawless, the lip combo. And, like, I don't know what it is. Tyler will always give you glowiness and radiance. Like, she'll still wear, like, a lot of makeup, but it'll still be glowy and radiant. And then the hair, I don't know if it's because of the angle of the picture that I'm seeing right now, but it's, like, it's uneven. Like, one side is cut an, an angle than the other, and I don't really like that. Because this is, like, the first time we've seen Tyler with no cornrows, box braids, or, like, her natural hair out. So I feel like this was an opportunity to, like, step up and eat. The hairstyles that Tyler could have done, she could have ate. Like, she could have really ate, like, to give us a variety because she's always having the cornrows or the box braids or an natural hair out. She could have given us something, what, like, really, like, eaten. Like, you know what I mean? But she just gave us this, like, unevenly cut bob. And then the dress... I think it's just really boring. I know that everyone's like, oh, she's holding a little hourglass bottle thingy with Jiggy. But I'm just like, I just don't get it. And I feel like the only reason people are praising it and wetting their panties for it is because she has an hourglass figure and like the the body which everyone chases. But if you put that dress on someone who doesn't have an hourglass figure, I will guarantee you that that person will get ripped to shreds on X or, or Instagram or wherever. I'll guarantee you, I'll, I, I bet a hundred pounds hundred pounds to my bank account that they will get dragged to filth not even on anyone who's plus size or slim if you put that dress on someone who is skinny for example they will guys stop it stop it okay that's the only reason why people are praising this dress and like oh it's so elegant it's so beautiful it's so oh ah ooh. okay moving on to miss jayla i'm not even gonna lie but she ate she ate she heard all the criticism were given her about her trash movie and her trash music and she was like, okay, I've got one more chance to really push something out. And she came to the Met Gala and gave us a look which ate. Everything is so cohesive. The makeup is just glowy and youthful. The hair, it's not even like too, too sleek, but it's, I don't know, it's something about the hair not being like too, too, too perfect, like in the high bun and the jewellery are all cohesive and together but does this match the theme though love the dress it's stunning like stunning guys but does it fit in the theme let me know down below what you think do you think that she is sticking to the theme or not i don't really think she is but you know what is new there's always one or two people who just can't read apparently and can't stick to the themes guys i've just seen flipping kim kardashian what's going on Oh my gosh, guys, what's going on with the body? Guys, what has she done to herself? Guys, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Guys, please look at the picture on the screen. What the hell is wrong with her hips? What's going on with her waist? What has she done? Is she like, that is not cinching because with a corset, you can see the corset through a dress, through a top, but I can't see a corset. So how did she get her waist so skinny, guys? This is actually concerning. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Just because of that, Kim, you've got zero points for me, babe. Just because of that, because it looks like she's taken out her kidneys to fit into this whatever it is. Okay, after I literally just had like a literal panic attack from seeing Kim's literal waist. Anyways, guys, next we have Nicki Minaj, okay? I really just realised whilst looking closer at the dress that is painted. Is it painted with something or like wax? I think that's pretty cool. Okay, I was just... Okay, okay. I'm not going to lie. I'm not really loving the hair. I'm not loving the hair. 
but like Nikki pulls it off. Yeah, you know the low bang which covers the brows. I don't know what it is. Only her and Black China can pull off that hairstyle. But with this look, with the painted wax, I feel like okay, guys, this is a recommendation. I feel like something like you know the wet hair look, which was really popular in like 2018, 2019, like where you scrunch up the hair and you make it all wet and stuff like that. I feel like that would look really good with this dress. Maybe like a short bob with like the wet hair look. Okay, I just watched some of the interviews from the Met Gala and the Nikki dress is painted and stuff like that. Okay, so I was correct. Okay, normally I don't watch interviews because I couldn't care less. I saw Cardi B's interview and oh my gosh, let's, before I talk about the interview, let's break down what the hell she was wearing. My gosh, she was wearing like this hat, not a hat, it was just like a headscarf thingy i don't really know what to describe or what to call it it was like a massive massive headscarf and i don't know what it is but it seems like for the last two or three met galas they've been setting cardi up every time they've been peanut buttering her up bro every time was it last year when she came with the the, the wig and the hair wasn't even laid properly and it looked like oh gosh they're setting her up her 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 hair people and stuff like that they're actually setting her up because there's no way that the bumped look that she did last year if someone did that on me, I'd be like, can you redo my hair again? Or I'll just do it myself because there's no way I'm stepping out like that. I'm not stepping out of hair like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Makeup, fine. I like the really smoky eye that she did, like a smoky eyeliner eye thing. But yeah, I just can't, I don't know. And there's like 10 people holding the dress. All of that, like all of that, all the people holding the dress and she's wearing a massive head thing. And then when Emma Chamberlain asked her, oh, so who's your designer? And she asked this question to everyone. This is a universal question that everyone gets asked. It's not just Cardi B or anything. She asked, oh, so who's designed your dress? And then she, Cardi B replied with, oh, some Asian guy. Or like, on some Asian man. I remember Emma asked the question at least twice. Emma asked, oh, who did you design your dress? And then Cardi just ranted on about something else and like, oh, I'm happy to be at the Mega. And then she asked again, so who designed your dress? Because then she wants to know, right? Because uh, Cardi was dodging the question. And then, you know, Cardi B had to rush off. Uh, I don't know rushing off where to because it, it didn't look that busy, okay? And then she's like, oh, some Asian guy did it for me. And then everyone was just laughing off in the comments. People were like, oh, this is so funny. This is so iconic. But I'm just, I just can't imagine, you know, if someone else said that, you know, there would be backlash. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if if not even Nikki, if anyone else came to the Met Gala with all that effort put in by other people, like, to not know their designer, I feel like there would be backlash. And people could be like, oh, it's not that deep. It's not that deep. Can you imagine if, like, Kendall Jenner came on to the Met Gala and Emma said, oh, who designed your dress? And then Kendall said, oh, well, some black guy. Do you see how that sounds? Like Kendall would get backlash. Or if Kendall said, oh, just some Asian person. You know what I mean? That sounds wrong. But it only isn't wrong because it's Cardi B and people are just, they just don't say anything and they just find it hilarious. Like I always say, it's always cute to be ghetto and illiterate when you're not black because Cardi B isn't black. And that is a controversial topic. I should probably do like an unpopular opinions video about it. But if I, as a black person, as a dark skinned black person, if I have to look at someone and squint at someone for more than 10 seconds, you're not black. Simple as that, baby. I shouldn't be looking at you sideways, looking at you like this and that, turning my head to try and see if you're black. If you're, if I'm doing all that, you're not black. If you have to show me your whole family tree of people, if you have to show me your parents, your grandparents, to show me and to prove you're black, you're not black. Because a normal black person doesn't have to prove and show their parents and their grandparents to prove that they're black. They're just black and they know it. And I feel like because Cardi B only wants to be seen as black, so she's included in all these sort of stats like oh the first black person to or three black people to she wants to be included in that so bad but she's not so i'm sorry guys that might be controversial but it is what it is oh and also how to know that cardi b isn't black is she spells the n word with k's like i remember she was on twitter and she was like trying to say the n it was like the n word but it was with k's and it literally took me like 30 seconds to realize what she was saying i was like what and then I realised it's the N-word, but it was with K's. No black person spells the N-word with K's. You just spell it with G's. Even white people will spell the N-word with G's. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's like, oh, that's just like a universal thing. So that's another reason, as you know, she's not black. 
Ariana Grande, okay. She has not been to the Met Gala for a good couple of years. Like, when was the last time she went? When was the last time she went, guys? I can't even remember. I think it was that time when she had, like, the, the uneven eyebrows. That really irritated me. When she had the, the it was like a renaissance dress. She had, like, a bow in her hair. One eyebrow was higher than the other. And that really irritated me. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> this year this year okay it's different okay she's different i'm not even gonna lie the makeup is eaten as makeup is eaten like is it just all aria and beauty the lip and the the base is so flawless and the eyes oh and there's one thing about ariana and her makeup team they'll always do a flawless base like what is the secret what what is the secret is it the aria what is it like what what is it and then I was trying to decide. I didn't really, at first I didn't really like the feathers on her eyes. But now I'm just like, you know, if it had like a little spice, they're okay. I would have probably preferred the look without the weird white feathers on her face. But here, hey ho. And then she has the classic ponytail look. I would have liked to see Ariana experiment with something a little different apart from the ponytail. Maybe something, I don't know, maybe like some curls or something with her hair down I would have loved to see that because although the ponytail is iconic you know just experiment with something new try something new I would have loved to see that the dress is very simple it's very just like very simple I mean like it's just white it's like a creamish white with glitters on the top half of her body and then like a veilish sort of see-through gown bit to the literal ground um but I don't know I feel like there's just so much you could have done. It looks really nice and elegant and sleek and really put together. But there's just something... I just feel like there's something else that could have been done. Like, there's something else. It's just too simple for me. I don't know. It's just too meh. You know, like, Ariana is so... Like, oh, it's like I always say, it's always the beautiful people who just wear the, like, the subpar or just really weird things. I'm not saying that like, this dress is weird, but I'm saying, like, it's really nice and sleek, but that's it. There's, it doesn't it's not making me in a chokehold I'm not gagged or anything you know what I mean I think the only person who's gagged me so far was probably JLo I was like oh my gosh JLo but let's be for real okay Ariana hasn't been to the Met Gala in some time and I think the only reason she's really here is to advertise her album and to advertise the Wicked movie which is coming out later this year otherwise she would have not even come if we're gonna be for real we're gonna be for honest because there's no actual reason for her to come she's just coming because Wicked is coming out and they're promoting it and they need all the promotion they can get I think that's it really of the people who like caught my eye to be honest but that's all I got for you guys okay hope you like this video like comment share subscribe Oh yeah, and don't take me too seriously, guys. My gosh, the comments I get of people trying to take me too seriously, like, it's all jokes, it's all fun, it's all games over here. I, I'll be kikiing and hee-heeing when I'm editing. It's all fun and games, guys. Don't take me too seriously. But that is all I have. Shumpa Culture, out.